Diyos, tanika mo nga amin. This is V. Panaga and you're watching Money Matters. So, ang episode natin ngayon, I will be tackling about VUL and DTI din. Ayan. So, marami kasing nagtatanong sa akin, ano ba daw yung mas maganda daw yung BPID. And, kinocompare nila sa VUL. So, first, explain muna natin ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Pag sinabi kasi natin VUL, it means Variable Unit Link Life Insurance. So, it is a product. Sana siyang produkto. Meron ka ng life insurance, and investment na ang kalaki. Pag sinabi naman natin BTID, it means by term, invest the difference. So, BTID, hindi siya product. It is a process. From that alone, hindi mo pwedeng i-compare yung VUL versus BTID if yung gusto mong malaman is in terms of product. What you need to do and you need to know is kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng VUL and VTID and isa-check mo kung mag-fit ba sa'yo ang VUL or mas mag-fit sa'yo ang VTID. Kasi comparing them directly, hindi siya magiging justifiable dahil ang VUL is a product. VTID is a process. So, kapag magko-compare ka, it should be apple to apple. Hindi pwedeng apple versus sun kiss or orange. So, kailangan pareho. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon would be to discuss both para mas makikita ninyo and it will up to you kung ano yung mas makakatulong based on your needs, on your priorities, and of course, on your budget. Okay, let's first take a look into VUL. Ang VUL kasi, yun yung latest na naging product in the life insurance industry. It was pioneered by True Life UK. That was on 2002. So, VUL or the Variable Unit Link Life Insurance was pioneered by ProLife UK way back 2002. And it has changed the life insurance industry landscape here in the Philippines. So, yung concept nun kasi is before, we all know life insurance as merely life insurance, which means wala siyang kalakit na investment. You pay for the protection benefits and you don't have to expect na meron kang mawi-withdraw. Since the inception of VUL, doon na bago yung life insurance industry landscape natin sa Philippines. And mas nagkaroon ng interest ang ibang mga tao since merong balik yung pera nila. Dahil alam naman natin na mostly gusto nila na enjoy nila yung money nila habang sila ang buhay, ay buhay pa. So yung concept ng VUL is you have an insurance coverage protection while some portion of your premiums also can be invested. It depends on the fund value that or I should say So, with the VUL, portion of your premiums, when we say premiums, yun yung amount na binabayaran mo, pinaka-savings mo when you buy a life insurance policies. So, instead na purely para sa protection mo, portion of it will be placed 
into investment. And meron tayong iba't ibang funds na pwede kang mag-invest. So it will depends on the risk appetite of the client. Then we can recommend kung ano yung mga funds na pwede niyang i-invest. So what are the funds na pwede siyang mag-invest? We have bonds, we have stock market. So meron tayong mga iba't ibang portfolio na pwedeng mix up ng iba't ibang bonds, stock market, and many others. So yung VUL is a life insurance product. Pag sinabi natin VUL, since meron siyang kalakip na investment, hindi mo siya dapat iisipin na investment product solely. Kundi, part lang is for the investment. Remember, when you have a life insurance policy, meron kang tinatawag na guaranteed protection benefits. And that guaranteed protection benefits is available even if 90 days ka pa lang nagsisave, if biglang magkaroon ka ng, for example, critical illness, kung magkano yung maximum amount na nakapaloob sa iyong policy, makukuha mo na siya. Hindi mo na kailangan antayin na matapos mo yung paying period mo. And because of those guaranteed benefits, meron tayong tinatawag na charges. So, yung mga charges na yun is continuously na madedetect hanggang ma-expire yung tinatawag nating benefits. So, ang tanong na malamang na iisip nyo would be, if nagamit mo ba yung guaranteed protection benefit, maapektuhan ba yung iyong funds? So, hindi. Kasi ang VUL, separate po yung component for the investment. Ang guaranteed protection benefits, kahit na nagamit mo siya, hindi mababawasan kung ano yung kinita ng fund value. But since it's a VUL, ang isang consideration mo dyan would be the fund value. Kailangan maintindihan mo na yung fund value mo yun yung portion ng kinita ng pera mo from the investment. And since may kalakip na life insurance yun, once na pinul withdraw mo lahat ng fund value mo, automatic na mateterminate ang iyong policy, which means pati yung protection benefits, yung guaranteed protection benefits. So yun yung isa dapat na isa alang alang nyo. Kapag VUL siya, Although magkahiwala yung protection, yung guaranteed benefits, and the variable benefits, which is the fund value na pwede mong i-withdraw, that is the cash value, you have to make sure na may matitira sa fund value mo. Para sa ganun, may enjoy mo pa rin yung protection benefits na guaranteed. Okay, how about BTID? Since BTID is not a product, it is a process. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung gusto mong magkaroon ng life insurance and you choose to do yung BTID since it's a process, meaning you will only buy a term insurance. So, marami tayong iba't ibang klase ng term insurance. It depends on your needs. Ang mga term insurance, you have mga standalone, meron tayong pinatawag na kung gusto mo lang is for your health, pwede yun. So kung gusto mo lang for protection sa health or personal accident, pwedeng hiwala yun. Ibang policy yun ay standalone lang. Pwede rin kukuha ka ng term insurance na meron ng protection for your health and for the accident. So pwede mo rin pagsamahin yun. But the word itself is term. So, ibig sabihin, you are protected only for a certain period. If you bought the term insurance annual renewable, so protected ka for that one year na nabayaran mo siya. For the second year, for instance, nakalimutan mong magbayad, 
And tapos na yung tinatawag natin grace period para ma-renew mo siya. If for example, may biglang nangyari sa iyo, then wala ka nang makiklaim kasi term mong insurance yung kinuha mo. It's for a certain period a month yung binayaran mo and for that certain period, you are protected. Pag nakalimutan mo siyang i-renew and natapos na rin yung grace period for that, wala ka ng protection. So since, ang sabi nga sa BTID, di ba? Buy, tear, invest a difference. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, kumuha ng term insurance for your protection and then whatever is left dun sa budget mo, i-invest mo. So, it depends on you kung saan ka mag invest So, one very common investment is yung stock market. You can invest in stock market. You can invest in forex exchange, bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, mutual funds, whatever you want. So, depende rin yun sa'yo. Pero kailangan meron kang sapat na kaalaman sa bawat investment na mag invest ka. Since you will be doing it yourself. So, it depends sa personality mo. Do you have enough time na gawin yun? Kasi since you are the investor, kailangan may time ka. Kailangan aralin mo yun. Kailangan meron kang systematic way na in a way, mamomonitor mo yung investment mo. Because you will be the one doing the buying and selling. So, I know it kasi I am also investing and managing my own stock market. So, I've been doing it since 2015. I have tried to become a passive investor and at the same time an active investor. So, pag sinabi kasi natin passive investor, yun yung constantly lang, maglalagay ka monthly, and then itche-check mo lang. Hindi ka yung daily na nag-check, and then hindi ka rin yung daily na nag-buy and sell. So, hinahayaan mo lang yung pera mo, and you are doing the cost averaging. So, nung ginagawa ko naman yung active trading, that is for a day, hindi lang isang transaction yung ginagawa ko. I can buy and sell as much as ilang shares of stock, kung anong company yung gusto ko. And of course, since I'm doing it myself, magre-rely din sa capability ko yung returns and yung timing ng pagbabay and sell ko. So, lahat ay natututunan. Pwede nating matutunan lahat. Kailangan lang may discipline ka. And syempre, sa umpisa, kung umpisa ka pa lang na mag-invest, you also have to check yung money, amount ng money na in-invest mo. It should be an amount na kung malugi man lang, wala siyang return, is makakatulog ka pa rin sa gabi at hindi ka mahirapan. So, based on my experience, it should be something na amount na hindi ka mahirapan dun sa mga gastusin mo. Or in simpler term, yun yung amount na kaya mo na mawala. So, hindi yung Ito yung ano ah, yung budget mo na supposedly gagamitin mo for the full month and then in-invest mo. So, huwag ganun kasi paano kung malos ka? Since I also know how to invest in stock market my own, syempre nagbabasa ako, nagtitingin ako sa YouTube and I also joined a group na nagbibigay about dun sa strategies still, na-experience ko din ang magkaroon ng losses. So, hindi yun na naiwasan na may mga losses, may mga ups and down. But again, it will depend dun sa investor kung ano ba talaga yung kanyang goal. So, having said that, BTID is a process. You buy a term insurance 
And kung ano man yung na-budget mo for that na may excess pa, yun yung investment. I-invest mo. Yun yung term natin na buy term, invest the difference. So, syempre yung return will be depende kung gaano ka kagaling dun sa pag invest mo. Okay, para mas magiging clearer sa inyo, I have created a comparison based on the sa client ko who also asked about what is the difference of VUM versus PTID. So, of course, I always want kung ano yung best sa kanya. And then, I try to make a comparison based dun sa kanyang existing VUM and what if nag-BTID na lang siya? So, para lang, for the sake of comparison, although hindi talaga kasi siya masasabing apple to apple comparison, we'll just take a look kung ano ba yung ano, ano ba yung mas malaki yung premiums when it comes to dun sa protection na VUL and then BTID. Ano ba yung mas malaki yung returns niya? So, for the sake of comparison, I will be using a 10% return for the investment. And as much as possible, ito try natin na yung gastos niya sa kanyang VUL would almost be the same dun sa BTID niya. So, ito check natin kung ano yung magiging result. Okay, here is our example for the BTID versus a VUL. So, for the sake of checking, Kung ano ba yung magiging difference ng isang product versus sa isang process. So, for instance, we have this client started at the age 38. And let's say, mayroon siyang VUL. Ito yung protection benefits within 1.1 million. ADD stands for accidental death and disablement, which is 800,000. CCB means crisis cover benefits with 1 million coverage. TPD stands for total permanent and disability. And meron siyang 800,000 coverage. So at the onset, He's paying 24,000 pesos. Since it's a VUL, kahit na tumatanda siya, all throughout, 24,000 pa rin yung babayaran niya. So, let's compute lang for 15 years para lang makita natin how much will be the premium. So, yung premium din yung amount ng binabayaran niya. It is the amount ng savings niya na binabayaran niya para makuha niya lahat itong guaranteed protection benefits na readily available sa kanya. What if BTID yung ginamit niya? Okay. Binigyan natin siya ng term insurance. And as much as possible, kailangan pareho din halos yung amount. So, ginawa natin same ang amount. So, meron siyang 1.1 million, 800 din for the accidental debt and disablement. Okay, again, SA means sum assured or other term would be face value. And para pinaka maintindihan mo, that is the life cover. Yun yung guaranteed amount, readily available in case nagkaroon ng debt. LCB stands for life cover benefits. So, that's 1 million. And TPD stands for 800,000. That's total permanent disability. Okay, these are both life. LCB and CCB both for health critical illness. So, the main difference is mas malaki ang coverage ng LCB. That's the life per benefit versus the critical crisis cover benefit. So, at the onset, 
mas mura. Mas mura yung babayaran ni client. Kasi it's a term insurance. So, for the first year, we we'll just need to pay 23000 So, meron siyang Yung 23,000 na yan, meron na siyang in-invest na 5,000. So, granting na mag-invest siya on his own at the stock market and then we'll give him 10%. So, ito na yung kikitain. So, papansin niyo sa VUL, wala pa siyang kinikita in the investment for the first 3 years. So, bakit? Kasi kung papansinin mo dito, Ang premiums niya is very minimal and yet malaki agad yung protection coverage. Even though na nagkakaroon na siya ng investment sa premiums niya on the second year, wala pa rin siyang kinikita dahil malaki yung charges na nakakalta sa kanya. But then on the fourth year, dun pa lang mag start na makikita niya na may fund value siya. Ibig sabihin, meron nang kinikita yung kanyang pera. This is net of all charges. So, for 15 years, in the VUN, meron na siyang 268,801.11. That is the net fund value na pwede niyang ma-withdraw. That's the maximum amount. And he already paid 360,000 premiums. Okay, going to BTID, what if term insurance? Ang kinuha niya and then continuous lang din siya na nagsisave ng 5,000 since siya yung mag invest ng 5,000. Same thing, meron tayong 10% na rate of return. So, kung mapapansin mo, meron siyang Fund value agad on the first year pa lang. nag start na agad. And then for 15 years, granting na 5,000 lang yung sinesave niya, annual, meron na siyang 168,418.23. So itong premiums na to, ang computation natin dito is yung term insurance niya plus Yung 5,000 na malinis na for investment niya, purely for investment niya. So, pag ina-add natin yung binabayaran niya sa term insurance plus yung ini-invest niya na difference, pagdating ng 15 years, ang total na niyang binabayaran would be 409,670,000. So, if you will take a look sa difference ng dalawa, looking for the long term, mas magbe-benefit siya in his VUL account. For the short term, say 5 years, mas makakatipid siya sa kanyang term insurance. But if he wanted to continue his protection all throughout for 15 years, mas mahal ang term insurance. Okay, let's take a look for what if nag-start naman sila at age 30. So for age 30, Ayan. Same pa rin ang gagawin natin example. So, merong 1 million and 1 million here. So, if you will take a look, for 15 years, having the same coverage, mas nakakamura siya ng premiums. Pero pagdating ng kanyang savings or the investment, 
mas malaki na yung kinita ng DUL niya. Kasi ang ginawa natin dito, we try as much as possible na halos pareho lang yung gagastusin niya. Since BTID is a process, ang aim kasi ng BTID na lagi nila tinatanong o laging uh, sinasabi na, hey, mas mura ang BTID. Okay, ano ba yung mura sa tingin nyo? So, for the sake lang na makita yung amount, so ang gagawin natin would be give them a term insurance plus yung difference na i-invest nila. So, ibigyan natin ng 5,000 na difference na i-invest. So, ito total natin siya. Ito yung term with 5,000 na i-invest nila. Para halos maging malapit lang dun sa kanyang clean room sa VUN. So, kung papansinin mo, since ang i-invest niya lang is an amount of 5,000 each year. So, ito yung magiging returns for 15 years, around 168. And ang total na nilabas ng pera niya is 238,975. Whereas here naman, since uh, BUN na siya, may investment component, 270,000. But the return is much higher. So, if we want to compute the difference na nilabas nila, there will be a difference of 32,000. So, around 32,000 pesos yung mas na less ng term insurance. But when it comes to investment, Double. So, if you will look at it for the long term, mas okay pa rin yung kanyang VUN. Okay, how about gawin natin mas maaga pa? So, you started at age 25. So, gawin natin halos pareho pa rin ang mga premiums nila. Okay. So, obviously, mas nakamura siya when it comes to total premiums for the term. And since ini-invest na lang yung kung ano mang ang difference, so ito yung kinita niya ng sarili niyang investment. And for the VUN, since to in na siya, Kung papansinin mo, yung kinita ng funds niya, nabawi na lang din niya sa amount, total amount of premiums niya. So, if we we'll take a look at this, ano ba yung mga difference? So, after 15 years, basically, kapag ang premiums yung pagbabasehan mo, mas nakakamura sila at the onset na pag-term. But you have to put in mind that as you ages, yung charges talaga tumataas yan. So, pag-term insurance, siyempre tataas din yung babayaran mo gradually. In the long term, if you want to check yung investment component niya, kasi as much as possible ang gusto mo dito is halos pareho lang yung amount ng nilalabas na money. So, kung papansinin mo, based on our three comparisons, ages 25, 30, and 38, the VUN, dun yung malabas da, yung investment is for capital appreciation. If you take a look at this, nabawi na niya yung pinayaran niya for premiums. Kasi mas malaki na yung pwede niyang i-withdraw. And the good thing is, Nandito pa rin yung guaranteed protection benefits na kahit na after 15 years makalimutan niya mag-pay, still in force. Nagagamit niya pa rin. But what if sa term insurance after 15 years on the 16th year nakalimutan niya mag-renew? 
the sad thing is, kapag biglang nagkasakit or na-accident kasi client, hindi na niya makaklaim ang guaranteed protection benefit. Kasi hindi niya na-renew. It's a term kasi eh, renewable. Yun yung disadvantage. And yun naman yung advantage ni VUN. Kahit na nakalimot ka, since meron kang fund value at hindi mo siya na full withdraw, Example, kahit na nag-withdraw ka pa dito ng 200,000, may maiiwan pa rin na 100,000 kahit nakalimutan mo magbayad and bigla kang nagkasakit, yung guaranteed protection benefit, you can still get it, use it. Makaklaim mo pa rin siya. Okay, so again, yun yung para lang makita natin not just based on opinion but based on the data itself kung ano ba yung magiging difference ng VUL sa BTID, in doing BTID. Kasi yung VUL is a product and BTID is a process. So, for the sake of checking on numbers, on data, we use as much as possible yung halos pareho lang yung nilalabas nilang amount. And based on that, nakita yun na yung comparison ng total amount ng nagagastos on both sides and what will be the investment return. Again, it depends sa personality perspective ng isang individual who wants to avail a BUN or who wants to do the BTID process. If you want to think of long-term benefits with guaranteed protection benefits, BUN is a win. And we have shown the data on comparing both doing a term insurance, and then investing the difference, and then we have the VUN. So we have compared the 25 years old, what if you started at 30, and what if you have started in 38. So if you want to have a protection just for a certain period with a minimal cost, you can opt for term insurance. If you want to have a long-term protection benefits na kahit na nakaligtaan mo, for instance, for a year na nagbayad after paying for 15 years or 10 years, not for sure na meron ka pa rin guaranteed protection benefits, then you can opt for VUN. Ayan. So, for sure, this presentation that we have shared and a discussion that I have shared help you to know what is meant by VUL and what is BTID. So again, VUL is a product, BTID is a process. Maraming salamat sa panonood sa episode natin. Answering PUN versus BTID. Feel free to comment below and kung may katanungan kayo. And for other aspects of financial planning, feel free to email us at futurebuilder20 at gmail.com. You could also visit our website, that's www.future-builder.com. Hanggang sa muli dito sa episode natin, here on Money Matters.